It's hard to believe this oasis of calm lies right by Budapest's main boulevard. A monument to the famous composer and pianist Franz Liszt stands at the square of the same name. Music student Domankos Chabai comes here every day. It expresses the, that he was born to be a pianist with this huge, long fingers and, and very big hand. Right next to the square is the Liszt Academy. With 900 students, it's the biggest music academy in Hungary. Built after Liszt's death, it's most famous for its Grand Hall, an Art Nouveau concert hall completed in 1907. This is the most important musical institute in Hungary, founded by Franz Liszt himself. And uh, almost all the, the generations of Hungarian musicians uh, studied here. In 2002, Andrási út, all two and a half kilometers of it, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Like most of Europe's grand boulevards, it attracts both motorists and pedestrians. Just off Andrási út, you'll also find a museum and research center named after Franz Liszt. It's housed in the Music Academy's old building, where the composer lived between 1881 and 1886. His flat had an immediate connection with the concert hall, which is also nowadays used for the students of the Academy and for, for artists uh, as a concert hall. So when he heard from his flat, it's something interesting, somebody plays uh, something interesting, he could just uh, come immediately and, and listening to. Andrési út starts near St. Stephen's Basilica, the largest church in Budapest, and heads northeast. It runs through the heart of the Hungarian capital. The boulevard was built in neo-Renaissance style in the second half of the 19th century. It was modeled after the famous Champs-Élysées in Paris. Andrési út ends at Heroes Square. Its Millennium Memorial commemorates the founding of the Hungarian state in 896. This section of Andrési út is lusher, with stately villas set in park-like grounds. This part of the Andrási street, which is the farthest from the inner city, is maybe my favorite part of the street. Because here it's not so tumultuous, it's, there are not so, it's not a so narrow uh, part. But here you can see more green trees, it's, it's uh, like more in the nature. And uh, one time it was also used for summer holiday. The Phil Delati, or Underground, is the name of the Metro Line 1, which also has received World Heritage status. This line was built in 1896 for the 1000th anniversary of the Hungarian incoming. And it, its line runs uh, straight under the Andrási because at the end of this street, uh, there was a huge exhibition, like a millennium exhibition, and that's why they built it. And it's the first underground railway this building once housed a department store. After ongoing extensive renovations, it's now home to a big bookstore and one of Budapest's loveliest coffee houses, the Lotz Terim. It's named after Karoly Lotz, aka Karl Lotz, a German Hungarian painter best known for his murals and frescoes. Just a stone's throw away, you'll find the most well-known building on Andrási út, the Hungarian State Opera House. Constructed between 1875 and 1884, it was also built in neo-Renaissance style. Budapest's Andrási út is a boulevard that charms visitors and locals both day and night.